hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be teaching you how to make an eye catching thumbnail like the one you're seeing on the screen so the first thing you should do is go to youtube and check the kind of thumbnails other creators made on that particular topic after you must have chosen the one you like then the next thing you should do is to head on to your google chrome and get the pictures ready when i finally saw the picture i liked i screen grabbed it and then i moved it to my inshot to remove the background of the picture if you want me to do a detailed tutorial on how to remove backgrounds let me know in the comment section so you have to be careful at this point while removing the other parts you don't want so i went ahead and did the same process for the interface i want on the phone so if you don't know how to access your youtube studio interface on your mobile phone click on the video that pops out at the end of this video to get that information at this point i took a screen grab of my youtube studio interface and i moved over to canva when i got to canva i typed in youtube thumbnail and it popped out so if you want to use a template all you have to do is click on the template you want to use but for the purpose of this video i am starting from scratch so i clicked on the plus sign and it took me to a brand new page at this point i just clicked on element and typed background so CapCut can show me the options i have after that i clicked on all and they took me to a page where i could see all the backgrounds so what i did was i selected the one i wanted to work with and i clicked on it after clicking on it i increased the size to cover the entire canva and after that i went on to press gallery so i can access the pictures of my phone i picked up the picture i had already removed the background the picture of the phone and i did the same thing to get the youtube studio interface here i was just trying to arrange the interface using the rotate button please try as much as possible to do a clean work there's a feature called notch that helps you move around the CapCut app when you're satisfied with what you have done you go ahead and group it to group all you need to do is you go to the more button and you select multiple after selecting two or more, you go and look for group and then you group it. After grouping them, they become one and then you can move them around without stress. After that, I went on to click on add text, add a heading and then I typed in the title of my video. After that, I decided to add a background to each of my text and by doing that i clicked on element and picked out this rectangle shape box and then i arranged it to fit in to each of my text here i was just trying out the fonts and the colors so guys when it comes to graphics all you have to do is keep testing out new waters keep trying new things and i assure you you'll be happy with your results so at this point i realized that immediately i introduced the black and red color the brown background was no longer working so what i did was i went to element again typed background and then looked out for a white background that i liked at this particular point i'm just trying out the fonts again and the font size i realized that the whole thing is just too white so what I did was I went in to Element, got a rectangular box, and then I changed the color to brown. And then I went to transparency to reduce the transparency so it will be light. So what I did afterwards is to increase the size of the rectangular box to fit the entire canvas. And then I sent it backward by clicking on position and taking it backward. I later realized that a text is overlapping with the phone so what i did is to just get it out of the way by removing the mobile and bringing it down here i just realized that 
the interface of the YouTube studio back in and my phone wasn't aligning so I just tried to align it properly and then I grouped all my text so I can move them without the stress of rearranging them. Just after that what I did was to bring in the YouTube Studio logo and after removing the background on InShot I noticed that the white middle triangle part was no longer there so I decided to add it manually by going to the element and getting the triangle and then just rearranging it, changing the color and grouping the both of them together. I did the same thing for the Google Chrome logo. I brought in a greater than sign just to add more aesthetics to the work and then I grouped all three of them together. After doing that, I decided to put another text in two minutes just to make my YouTube thumbnail more catchy. After that, I clicked the save button and boom, this is the final result. Thank you guys for watching.